this is our flowering quench that we got so it flowered beautiful flower nice so next year also can be better well, I'm spiking all my uh, trees uh, miracle grow spikes and make sure they grow well fertilize so we're gonna go ahead and spike this up with all the fruit trees I cut back all of my fig trees it used to be high well because what happened is that uh, last winter we had a very very extreme freeze so it killed well not killed but died um, half of well half of my figs more than half of it so I cut it back all of them but uh, all of them has the uh, at least two inches or a little bit longer it's still alive uh, you guys can see I don't know if you guys can see right there where my fingertips are that's some new growth so I'm crossing my fingers that all of my fig trees will rejuvenate and sprouting new leaves, new branches and get some fruits out of it. So wish me luck guys. Here's another one right here. It's cut short because that's where the word still alive. But you guys can see right there. There's some new growth. New growth right there somewhere in the bottom. So I'm gonna let that grow. And it'll be like a kind of like a bush style now instead of a tree like appearance. So, yeah, so that's good though. Well, this one has been cut back. Well, all of them has been cut back. This one's like what two inches. Uh, hopefully, that bud right there will produce new uh, branches so it's still alive yeah I cut a lot of the branches down so hopefully uh, again it'll survive this one doesn't have I don't show any sign of growth yet so but it's still alive so we'll see uh, make sure guys to subscribe so you guys can see the updates on it let's look at the other ones same thing with this one I don't see any new growth yet so let's go to the next one this one's a little taller so hopefully it'll produce some new growth here and right there so we'll see No new growth on this one yet, but uh, I'm positive that uh, that it will grow still. So right now I only have a few that's showing signs of uh, new growth, but uh, yeah, I know all of them will start growing again. But again, gotta start small again, let them grow big. Anyway, it is what it is. You get to freeze, and that's expected. So, wish me luck, guys. Well, there's another fire here out the mountains, just like last year. Man, crazy. Plus, it's windy too, so that's not good. Hopefully, they'll have it contained. Uh, that's my our puppy making those noises. Anyway. Hopefully they'll contain it soon. We're going to be planting more citrus. Uh, I bought some lemon yesterday. And also I think it's mandarin. So we're going to plant it right here in the back. This will be our citrus area. So let's go ahead and uh, let's take a look. This is going to be our citrus area. This is going to be near the chicken coop. 
the old chicken coop so we're gonna put a new chicken coop right there but that's gonna be later on but uh yeah um let's go over here as you guys can see i planted some lemons here uh the other day and also some tangerine and this is the orange navel oranges uh, let's see there you go navel orange so i'm gonna get some soil some fertilizer and put it in here there's our raggedy chicken coop and here's the other one and this is the mandarin uh yep one that i got yesterday oh it looks so delicious already so yeah we're gonna go ahead and plant it over here on our citrus area at our homestead food forest okay i got some i mix some uh garden soil potting soil steer manure and some uh used uh, coffee grounds that we got at starbucks thank you starbucks anyway yeah so we're gonna go ahead and uh, fill this up and mix it it's gonna be good for the citrus because they are they love acidic soil so let's go do it there's lucky trying to get some sun some vitamin d which is good for for him it's been cooped up inside getting stressed out or depressed so it's good for him how lucky look at you oh, anyway get some tan well i'm done with my navel orange here so put some mulch right on top as well so it's time for us to water this girl right here i'm calling it a girl but uh yeah let that soak in and we'll water it again let's go to the other side here there it is our mandarin it's been planted as well so I can't wait for this to fruit. Uh, I doubt it's going to be this year, but hopefully by next year. So it's all good though. I'll we'll go ahead and soak this really good. And uh, we'll water it again later on. Uh, can't wait. We're planting some uh, small pomegranate. So it's a small one. So we're gonna put it in this uh, three gallon container and uh, let it grow big in here. So I'll probably uh, get some more and we'll see. But it's gonna be cool. I mixed all the soil components, uh, garden soil, uh, steel manure, um, coffee grounds, and some potting soil as well so can't wait to get big i do not know what kind of bee this is but i'm hoping it's not a cutter bee yeah anyway it's just hanging around right here at the uh, eggplant so we'll be transferring this out soon as well all right so the pomegranates has been planted that's gonna be great and watered as well so we'll probably water it a little bit more later so anyway guys don't forget to uh, subscribe press that like button and leave me a comment and uh, press the notification bell so you guys will be notified of our upcoming videos here in this desert homestead food forest all right guys thank you for watching Romy from solid gold shows such a beautiful sunset oh there goes lucky being on my tree anyway it's just marking his territory i guess but look at that sunset it's so beautiful 
gonna beat that guy. Lucky, what are you doing? What are you doing? I gave him a haircut. 